turn around and look long enough. Yeah. We're going to see baby CT. So I am currently 35 weeks pregnant, crazy. And um, I'm done with ultrasound. So my 28 week appointment, which I actually had at 27 weeks, but that was my last ultrasound of this pregnancy. So we can't wait until he gets here. And so we wanna see what he looks like. So today we're going to like um, an elective ultrasound at a place in Southern California near us. And um, it's like one of those 3D, 4D places. So we're gonna go get an ultrasound done and hopefully be able to see his face. Hopefully he moves, cause he never moves during ultrasounds. And then um, I'll film inside if we can. And if not, then we'll update you afterwards and show you the pictures. Cause we're so excited to see his face and we can't wait. And you can see the flicker of the heartbeat coming in here. I'm trying to see if I can. Do you want me to grab the ice? I'm just here to make sure the baby's in a good position. Yeah, that's cool. Let me know if you need me to move at all or... He, um, at the doctor's office, he always puts his hand and his feet above his face. Yeah. Like, he'll, like, bend, like, everywhere. He has his own little personality yep. already. You can see half of his face coming in. This is going to be his nose. So we're looking at, like, a profile position. Do you see this right here? Yeah, are those his lips? That's his lips and Aww. his little tongue sticking out. Do oh you see that? Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's so cute. So, cute. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put the baby's pad right oh, here. Oh, sorry, thank you. Right here where baby's hand is at. If you don't mind just applying a little pressure yeah. in the middle. Can you see that hand just right in front? Yeah. Resting on it right Aww. here. Cute little nose right there. So part of his mouth. You can see both of his eyes coming in now. That's so cute. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into HD Live now to see if we can get a little bit better of a picture of him. Okay. HD Live is really neat. It kind of makes it, um, gives that skin tone color to make it look a little bit more realistic. Wow. You can see him also moving his mouth right here. <laughs> <laughs> do you see him? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's like he's trying to talk to me. Yeah, he's like, leave me alone, lady. <laughs> Coming in yeah. very clear. His cute little chin is right down here at the bottom. <laughs> That's so cool. He's, he's, it's like he's moving his mouth yeah, a little he's bit. Like sucking on his arm or like giving it a kiss. <laughs> Something. It's like, I love you, Hannah. Yeah. <laughs> like, look, mom. Now he's like practicing sucking. He is. Oh. oh my gosh. That's the most of his face we've seen. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Always has the hand there. I am so glad he's, he's, he's really got bright. little lips. He has cute lips. Oh, he's moving. So that shadow that's coming in over here, it's not that his eyes open. It's just <laughs> the angle that he was at. It wasn't capturing all the hands back. Oh, no. <laughs> Those his little fingers. Yeah, do you see him yeah. like curled up? So cute. Open his eyes. Aww. He's like trying to peek at it. He looks a little mad. <laughs> <laughs> he's still trying to suck on that little hand. Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go. He does have chubby cheeks. He does. <laughs> They're cute. Oh my gosh. Oh. And his little chin. Yeah. Time to install the car seat. They're like, is this my new seat? to go and the car seats in we're getting ready all right hey guys so I am currently 30 I'm like how far along am I I'm currently 38 weeks pregnant crazy 
crazy, crazy. I have about two weeks left to go. Um, and I figured I would just show you some of the things that I've been buying for baby. I wanna work on his baby book a little bit today and just kind of get a couple things like settled in the nursery. So I figured I would take you along with me. I also wanna follow up on those ultrasound pictures from the ultrasound that I took you along with because I never got a chance to uh, just like follow up on that. So I figured I'd show you right here. Ah! Look how cute! That's one of the pictures from our ultrasound. They turned out so good. Oh my gosh. Look at his little tongue. Sticking his tongue out. He is such a funny little boy. So I have it in this frame that's on a shelf in the nursery, but more on that to come in my nursery tour video. But I just wanted to show you that picture. We have a couple more pictures actually. Here's a couple more pictures from that ultrasound. So there's his little face like all scrunched up. His chubby chubby cheeks. So these were taken when I was about 35 weeks along. Um, and then they wouldn't do the ultrasound after that because they say that baby gets like too squished. So yeah, I just wanted to show you those, show you how those turned out. We had such a good time at our ultrasound. He was like so playful. I'll turn this back around now. We had so much fun at our ultrasound. He was so playful. He was in there like sucking, like we could see his mouth actually like moving and practicing sucking in there, which made me feel really good about nursing because hopefully that means he's getting ready to nurse. Um, and yeah, he was like really expressive. He kept taking the umbilical cord with his hand and like putting it up to his face. Like, um, our ultrasound tech said that they really like to play with the umbilical cord, the babies in there because it's like comforting to them, but it's also entertaining. Like it's just like this thing hanging down for them. And so he kept taking it and like putting it to his face and then he was licking the umbilical cord. Like he was like practicing sucking and then he would take the umbilical cord put it up to his face and like lick it. It was so cute. So um, he is super, super sweet. I just can't wait to meet him. And I can't believe we only have two more weeks left. It's crazy. Um, or somewhere around there. Hopefully, hopefully around two weeks. But if it goes a little late, that's okay too. So as you can see, I have a lot of stuff around me. Um, I have some cute little clothes I figured I'd show you guys. I have an order from Amazon that I figured I would show you guys. Um, plus I have some pictures to add to his baby book. So I figured that we could do that today together as well. And this would just kind of be like a check-in. This week with me being 38 weeks along, I really wanna make sure that I'm filming um, my hospital bag video, like what's in my hospital bag. I wanna film a nursery tour video and um, you know, at least get the content for that just in case he comes early, then all of that's done. So, so yeah, that's what, that's what I'm working on right now. So I guess first I'll show you these cute little outfits because these are just sitting right here in the background anyways. So I ordered a couple bookends from H&M for that bookshelf I was just showing. Um, so I'll show those in the nursery video as well. But when I ordered them, I wanted to get a couple of outfits from H&M too, just because they have like the cutest baby stuff. It's adorable. So we found out at our 40 ultrasound that he is bald. He has like no hair. <laughs> so I got a couple of hats for him. These are just some of their like H&M eco-conscious hats. They're like little baby hats like this. This one is green and then it says, it says hello right there on the stitching, which I think is super cute. And then this one's just like plain white. So I figured these would be good to go over like anything, um, especially in those first few days when he's home and he's tiny. This little double pack will be great. I also found this little baseball cap. All right. I, it's not a baseball cap, but it's like a five panel hat. My husband wears these so much. He has so many of these that look exactly like this that he gets at TJ Maxx and they're by Timberland. Um, and they actually have like a little round logo like this and everything. So when I saw this hat, I had to buy it. This one says, hopefully it will show. It says Tiny Crew Sailing Club, like so sweet. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and it's like blue and white pinstriped, which would be so sweet for summertime and like taking him to the beach and stuff um, and just keeping him covered. I thought that was adorable. And then this outfit, you guys, this outfit is like so dear to my heart. It is so cute. It's this little t-shirt that looks like a little vest and it does have a little bow tie on it. And then the shorts are these little khaki shorts. Oh my gosh. 
so you can wear them like that. Hopefully you can see a little bit. Like how cute. <laughs> this also looks like I'm wearing the t-shirt right now. So that looks a little funny with my, <laughs> my head on it, but you get the picture, you get the idea of what that little outfit looks like. Uh, it's just like so precious. I'm really excited for him to wear those. That'll show you there what that outfit looks like. So cute. I have some Amazon stuff to go through as well. So I got some stuff from Amazon. Um, we got a gift card and so I wanted to place an order just for some things that he needed. So the first thing that I stocked up on from Amazon were these velvet baby hangers. These things have been awesome for setting up his closet, which again, you'll see more of in the nursery tour, but they're so cute. Like, so, look how tiny. Um, I love them just for like hanging up his outfits, like that cute one I just showed a second ago. I'll probably hang that um, just so I can see what he has. I, when I first started putting together the nursery, I ordered two boxes of these. They're awesome because they're like $10 for 25 little velvet hangers. Um, I ordered two boxes and went through all of them. So homeboy has a lot of clothes. This little kid is not even born yet and he has so many outfits. It's ridiculous. But so I got another box of these hangers and I think 25 more should have me set up with some extras, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> um, I got one of these little backseat mirrors for the car. You gotta have one of these so that, you know, when he's in the car seat, we can sit in the front and still see his cute little face. So we got one of those um, and I'll probably install it like tonight because we already have the car seat in the car ready to go. Um, we just need to put that little mirror in there too. Oh, I got one of these Wubbin Up things. These are so cute. I already have like the little giraffe one too, but I thought this little elephant one was nice and like gender neutral, good for a little boy. So cute and um, ooh, and it's gray, so it will go with all his outfits. But these are supposed to be awesome. Let me know if you've used them before um, or if you have any suggestions for other things like it. I still have to like disinfect the pacifier part of it, but yeah, I think that will be really cute for him. I stocked up on some diaper pail refills. So we have like this Arm and Hammer um, diaper pail cheek thing, not the Genie, but you know what I'm saying. It's like this brand. So I just stocked up on some of the bag refills because I know that like those will be the type of things that we need and that I just want to already have in the house and not having to like run out and go get some. Oh, I got some more of these little pacifiers. So we took a couple which are the same kind that are attached to the Wubbinub, but we took a couple like baby classes and they suggested that these are the only pacifiers we should be using. Um, I don't know, that's what they said. So, you know, if you use other pacifiers, not saying anything wrong with that, but just saying that this is what my doctor told me to get, so that's what I got. And they're super cheap, especially on Amazon. This was like $3 as an add-on item, so not bad. And then I got a bunch of Honest Company products because since I had a gift card, I figured I would get some nicer like little baby diaper products. So I got two of these Onish, Onish. <laughs> I got two of these Honest Company diaper rash creams. I figured I could put one in my diaper bag and then keep one here at home next to the changing table. Um, let me know if you've tried these or if you have any other like diaper rash creams that you would suggest. Like I'm totally new to... <laughs> I'm totally new to this whole baby product thing. So let me know what you would suggest for as far as like changing and diapers go and things like that. Um, I, was, I was gifted a lot of like bath time products. So I don't really need more of those, but let me know what you prefer for changing diapers. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I also got one of these Honest Face and Body Lotions. Again, I figured that I would just put this um, next to his changing station. And then I got two of these like organic healing balms. To be honest, I don't really know what the difference is between the healing balm and the diaper rash cream, but this had really good reviews. People swear by it. So I got two, one to keep in his diaper bag and one to keep at the changing station for now. Um, but like I said, let me know any suggestions you have. But. So that's what I got from Amazon. Um, Oh, I also got two of these, two of these little baby slings from the company called Wild Bird. Um, they come in these boxes like this. This is what they look like. And so I got one that's like a 
a beige and cream stripe print and then it's like a lightweight linen fabric and then this one i just got in a solid gray and it's more of like a bamboo fabric so this is not sponsored i bought these with my own money and i'll have a link down below but i just was suggested this brand by a friend and i was really glad i got it um so basically you just slip the slings on like this and then i have mine like all tight because i was practicing with Coco. <laughs> I put Coco in the sling and was like practicing with her and it was super cute. She loved it. She passed out. She just fell asleep in the sling and was like obsessed with it. But, um, but you just sling it, put it over like this and then you can put baby in here and hold it like that. And it's got this extra fabric. You can adjust it. You can loosen it up. And what I love about these slings is that they have these really pretty rings so you can pick between silver gold or rose gold and i got rose gold for both of these ones so i think those will be really great i tried to pick like gender neutral colors that way my husband can carry him in it too and not feel like too feminine but i really like that i can just like carry him around the house in those um, and I'm excited to use them. So let me know if you've tried the Wild Bird Slings or if you have any other companies you use. I would love to hear about it. Um, but these are just the two that I picked up. And yeah, I was excited to get them. All right, so now I wanna work on his baby book a little bit. So this is the baby book that I have. My sister-in-law actually gifted it to me, so I'm not sure where she got it from, but it is so cute. I love that it's like a teal color. It says, hello, handsome. This is not my baby, obviously, because he's not here yet, but when he gets here, I'll put a picture of him in there. Um, but the color just like really goes really nicely with our nursery, and I'll show you what's inside. So this is what the outside looks like, and then there's, I haven't put his name in here yet. I'll do that when he gets here. There's like pages for mommy and daddy, a page all about like how we actually met and our story, our family tree. There's something, a page all about like how we found out we were pregnant, and then you can add in his first sonogram, which is so sweet. Um, visiting the doctor, baby shower stuff. Um, and then this will all be information that once he's here, we'll add that in. But what I wanted to do today was I wanted to add in pictures to the pages just about Jordan and I. Like there's a page for mom, dad, and then pictures of us together. So I went to CVS and I got all these pictures printed out. So I want to go ahead and add these into the book on the appropriate pages. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So here's the finished product. We have photos of mommy. These two, obviously, I was pregnant in. This one, I was like 17 weeks, 16 weeks maybe. I thought I had the biggest bump. Isn't that funny? That little bump. And then this one, same thing. I think I was like 18 or 19 weeks pregnant here. Maybe 18. And I thought I had like a legit bump. But... Yeah, so photos of mommy. So that's me, obviously. <laughs> and then photos of daddy. Got Jordan with Cal. The pups. This one's from our wedding day. He looks so young. Photos of mommy and daddy. This one was from our pregnancy announcement um, pictures that we got taken. So I was like 11 weeks pregnant in this picture. And we have some from the beach, skydiving, our wedding with the dogs, and then of course, big and prego there. So a little bit of everything with us. Hey, hey, that's not yours. That is not yours, Missy. Come back over here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, that's not yours, sweetie. She tries to steal everything of his. <laughs> Hi. You tried to steal his webinub. What the heck? There's the sonogram again. And then, hey, Coco. Coco. And then when 
pictures from when mommy was pregnant and then I still have to like fill out all this stuff down here but these are from our maternity pictures that we just got taken. This I actually took yesterday. <laughs> so I'm 38 weeks pregnant in this picture, nice and big. And then that's also from our maternity picture, so. And you are just like ready for him, aren't you? <laughs> All right, oh my gosh. It is so hard getting up and down and like sitting down to standing up. That's like my worst thing right now. Coco. I see you going for it. So then the last thing I figured I'd show you today would be my outfit. It is nothing special, but Jordan found me this like hooded t-shirt dress at TJ Maxx yesterday. So I just figured I would show it to you and he got it for me and it has pockets and it's super comfortable. And there's my bump. My big old is like so rock hard right now. There you go. There's my bump. 38 weeks. All right, so like I said, that's all I got for today, but my next doctor's appointment is tomorrow. Um, so hopefully we'll, you know, check, see if I'm dilated at all, if there's any progress. I have yet to be dilated in any of my appointments, so we'll see how it goes, but I'll take you guys along there. Not in the appointment, but I'll check in in the morning when I'm headed out, so yeah. Bye.